As a reminder, emergency dental surgery is still a go. I spoke with Dr. Alfonso Monares on Skype, who could be a great option for you. Okay, Dr. Monares, I know right now is a very strange time for a lot of us. We have never been through a pandemic in our lives like this, um, but I know that you want to send the message to everyone of hope and you do help people a lot. That's what you do for your job. What would you like to say to everyone at home? That, that's right, Roman. This is a very difficult time for all of us. Uh, I usually, you know, in, in your show talk about you know, smiles and making people happy, giving them hope. And, and I think it's very important that we stay positive. Uh, now more than ever, Roma, I think it's very important for everyone to stay healthy and, and be safe. And, um, you know, we have to help in any, any way we can. Um, you know, unfortunately, dental problems don't stop because of the situation in the world. And same as, you know, sometimes people are going to a supermarket and they don't find food for their kids. Um, people can wake up with dental problems and uh, we don't want these people to, to crowd the emergency rooms with this situation. So, uh, you know, we're taking care of our patients. There's a lot of wonderful dentists in town um, helping, you know, with emergencies uh, for people that have severe pain, that they can eat, you know, that, that they have bleeding or, or accidents happen all the time. So, so we're here to help people. Um, obviously, this conversation is different. We're not talking about dental implants and smiles. We got to do what we need to do right now. And as, as healthcare providers, we're taking all the measurements possible to protect everyone, but also to be here to help and, uh, and help our, our colleagues, the doctors that are treating uh, a much more important situation right now. So yeah, that's where we are. Yeah, absolutely. And Dr. Monadas, you have a lot of experience in what you do. Um, so I'm sure you're learning a little bit as you go, but you do have a process right now. How can people get in touch with you if they do have an emergency dental issue? Correct. You know, I, I, we, we're minimizing the amount of time we spend in the office. We want to obviously not, not gather people in, in waiting rooms. We, we're trying to help, but also we have limited hours and limited staff. I think like many other dentists in town are, are, are trying to help this way, um, but we're still here. Uh, taking calls, helping our patients. We know this is going to end soon, hopefully, and, and we'll be back to normal, but this is the time to collaborate, help. Um, myself and many of my colleagues in town are, are trying our best to, to be available for our patients. We want to help uh, with dental emergencies, and, and uh, we don't want people to go have to go to the emergency room now that they're uh, busy with, with a much more important situation. But we're here to help those people that are in, in severe pain, that they can eat, that they're medically compromised. And, you know, it's very important to stay healthy, stay safe. And, and hopefully very soon we can talk about uh, hope and smiles and all those wonderful things that we normally do. Dr. Monares, how can people get in touch with you? Well, you know, they can, they can call our office and they can visit our website. And, and again, we're here to help people with emergencies. And, uh, I, I, you know, we're, help, we're helping our patients and uh, people have a good dentist that they see. Feel free to call them. I'm sure lots of them are doing the same in these difficult times. But we're, we're available to answer calls, emergency calls in our regular phone number. And they can also contact us through our website. Great, great news there, Dr. Alfonso Monares. And obviously a lot of that video was taken prior to all of the coronavirus severity happening right now. But if you haven't